Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Osamu Ida from Kansai Rosai Hostel, Hyogo, Japan. Today's my topic is BTK CTO Crossing. Here is my disclosure. Uh, in real world practice, complex BTK regions are frequently found. Our registry shows that 64% of region were chronic total occlusion, while 75% of region were longer than 15 cm region length in BTK practice. This slide shows my preference wire in BTK and BTA revascularization. My first wire is Regaria. If CTO has a microchannel with calcification, Gradius, which has a 3 gram tip load with press shape, is also useful. If region has a severe calcification, intentionally subintimal approach using the O35 Telumo is mainly used. My CTO strategy is generally based on the region morphology. When CTO has a micro channel, without calcification, Interluminal approach is firstly attempted. On the other hand, complete occlusion without any microchannel is revealed in CTO site. Subintimal approach using the O14 NACU wire technique is intentionally applied. When CTO has a region calcification, I strongly recommend you to use a Gradius 3 gram wire. I think the role of O14 inch gradius 3 gram in BDK reconstruction is for crossing the complete occlusion with moderate to severe calcification for BTK disease without moderate to severe arterial toxicity. So here is a representative case complicating to the BTK and the BTA regions. First step is to cross the short segment of CTO with calcification at the middle part of the ATA, and the second step is to cross the long diffuse below the ankle CTO with less calcification. As mentioned previously, Gradius 3 gram wire, which has a 3 gram tip load with pre shape, is used for penetrating the short segment CTO with calcification. This 3 gram, Gradius 3 gram wire has a one-to-one -one trackability. After successful BTK glossing, we commonly switch to Regalia wire the below the ankle region. Regalia, which has a one gram tip load with hydrophilic coating, is useful for especially the below the ankle revascularization because BTA region is generally tortuous. Based on my experience, Regalia wire is the best wire for pedal artery glossing. After successful crossing pedal artery, there are some branch at the lateral plantar artery. In this situation, Regalia wire is again used for selecting the main branch, as shown in this movie. After successful wire crossing, angioplasty for entire artery was done and the compression angiogram shows a complete revascularization with pedal arch. So in this case, 3.5 to 4 mm button angioplasty was done for BTK region and 2.5 mm angioplasty was done for BTA with pedal arch was done. Perfect angiogram is shown here. A standard BTK technique for CTO revascularization is a safari technique, which is introduced as a subintimal artery flossing with anti-grade retrograde intervention. To achieve successful wire crossing, how to establish the bidirectional two-way approach is a key procedure tip and flex. During the initial angiography, calcification severity, access site for retrograde approach, and good collateral for retrograde approach should be precisely evaluated. Another technique in the B a complete occlusion in the BTK area is a step by step using the NACU wire technique. In our experience, O35 NACU is mostly fit for proximal BTK CTO, 
But all 14 NACU wire technique is reasonable for distal BTK and the BTS CTO. After almost reaching the pedal artery or the distal artery, all 14 3 gram gladius wire would be appropriate to get the distal to lumen. So this is another representative case treated with the NACU wire technique. Target region was 8 year long CTO with severe calcification. Five frames long sheath was placed at the popliteal artery, and all 14 regalia wire was firstly used for wire closing. So in this case, unfortunately due to the severe bilateral calcification in CTO site, all 14 wire could not advance through the region. We therefore switch from the all 14 system to all 35 system. Like this. A NAC wire technique using the Telmo 035 J tip wire company with a CXI 4 French caster was applied to close the region. After 035 wire was just staying above the two lumen, Dorsa Pedis RT was punctured under duplex ultrasound. So all 40 NAC wire was again done and we confirmed the anterior wire touch the wire from the dorsal pedis artery. So finally, wire rendezvous by Regalia wire was successfully achieved. After successful wire crossing, angioplasty with 1.5 to 2 mm for BTK and BTA, 2.5 to 3 mm for both BTK were done. Left ATA and dorsal pedis artery was successfully restored. So ultimate technique for BTK CTO with severe calcification is safari technique using the 035 inch wire. So in this case, four French cheese was placed at the dorsal pelvis artery and bilateral two-way approach using the 035 wire was conducted. There are several specific techniques in a BTK and a BTA reconstruction. All 40 and the 035 wires should be applied properly. BTK and the BTA fighters should not hesitate to add one more puncture as a retrograde approach. Thank you for your kind attention.